everyone long time no see so today i am going to um unbox some happy mail from my good friend clarissa otherwise known as karamia's corner here on youtube um as you know or as you don't know we've been long time real life friends and um every year we always send each other packages so this one Probably, I guess you could say my birthday box. I just celebrated my birthday on June 24th, and um, Clarissa went ahead and sent me a box. So hopefully I will have this video up on 4th of July. So happy 4th of July to everybody. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. So let's see what she sent me. Um, I actually sent her a uh, flat rate like package, which she received um, on Saturday. Uh, June 2nd so if you can head over to her channel and see what I sent her uh, her she's known like I said as Karamia's Corner here on YouTube and I'll try to post the link below into in the description so um, it's funny because I sent her package on Wednesday and then she sent mine on Thursday she got her package yesterday but she um, filmed the unboxing on Saturday so there's a lot of stuff in here. She stuffed it. Girl, what did you send me? Wow. Okay, so let's get all this stuffing out. And I don't, I'm kind of ill prepared here. I don't have a plastic bag to put all the trash, but that's okay. All right. So let's go ahead and put this to the side. So I will just pull from the box to make it easier. Okay, so the first thing we have here, which she reused a sheen bag for. It's funny because I've ordered from sheen, but I've never or ordered um, clothing. So I'm unfamiliar with the zip bags, although I know that a lot of people um, talk about the bags and I've even seen pictures. Some Somebody on YouTube, I believe, had uh, repurposed the uh, bags to make clothing out of, which I think is really neat. Okay, so... Welcome to the garden. That's really pretty. I like that. I'm just going to push that down for right now because I will reuse that washi. And let's see what's in the card. You really take the cake. Okay. I don't want to show it on camera because she might not want me to see that. <sighs> All right. So thank you for that nice card. Okay. So let's see what we have here. One of my favorite colors, a beautiful mint green. And oh my gosh, so I've got some um, Daiso stuff here. All right. So I'd have to compare it with the stuff that I was able to get from Japan. But even if it's doubles, I don't care. I love the cherry blossom stuff that Daiso puts out every year. Um, it's just so pretty. I'm not a, a sucker for like really girly girly things, but I really like this kind of stuff. And we've got some more sticker flakes here. Um, want to say that I got the paper, but I can't remember. Now, I'm going to be posting my... Um, the box that I got from Japan um, the day before this video goes up. So I had filmed the video like two weeks ago. I just haven't posted it. So um, like I said, by the time you see this video, you might have already seen the Japan box one. So I can't remember if that's in in the haul um, of stuff that I got. So we've got some hair from Clarissa. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, so we have some origami paper here. Oh, this one's beautiful because it's translucent. It's semi-transparent. So it's probably printed on vellum. Um, we have some seaside, um, well, not seaside, more like just a summer, you know, summer vibes kind of paper. And then of course, here's some more with the pink flamingos. And then you've got like tropical on the back. These are always good. I like using these for, um, for like my, you know, my junk journal and um, collage work. And then I've got some really, oops, sorry, really pretty stickers here. I hope I'm in focus. I haven't been checking on the focus there. And if there's a glare, I'm sorry about that. So we got that. I love this one. I'm still working on my um, 
Japan um, trip insert. So I can definitely use those. And then I have this beautiful letter set. Oh, I love that. Anybody actually use their letter sets when they get them? I mean, it's just hard because they're so pretty. And then we've got some Kokeshi dolls here. They're erasers. And those are always so cute to display. Um, I have this. Oh, I like this idea, Clarissa. This is to store your washi. Um, so you could put little rolls, okay? And it's in like an, in the form of a pen, as you can see. And so you can run it. So I see, here's the little cutter right here. Wow, that's cute. It's a really cute idea. And um, so, okay, so we've already gone over that. Let's pull some more out of the box. I'm just gonna randomly grab here. So she asked me what kind of food that I like from um, Daiso, and I asked her for some sundae, and she got them for me. Oh, I love sundae. Um, I'm probably gonna bust out. I'm gonna bust out with one of these after I film the video. This one's already broken, so that's the first one I'm going to eat. I'm gonna have my my mom um, try these. Okay, so what else do we have here? Uh, okay. What is this, Clarissa? Oh, how cute! It looks like it's a bowl, and it is a little bear bowl. How adorable, and look. Is it a bear? Yeah. Or is this a Shiba Inu? I think that's the tail. Maybe it's a Shiba Inu. Aww. It's a, yeah, it does say Shiba Inu. This is really great to like, you know, put your watch, your keys, earrings, that sort of thing. So, put that there. And of course, Shia picked up some more of these for me because they're one of my favorites. I love the milk tea and the royal milk tea. And then we also, so we have three packs of that. I've never had the, um, the cafe au lait, so I might try this tomorrow. There's like three in a pack, but that's okay because, you know, um, it's just a try and see how it tastes. But definitely the milk tea I'm excited about. So I did ask her to get me two more of, well, one of them, but I didn't realize she got two, but that's that's fine. So these are tape holders. Um, she sent one before, you can put washi tape in them and they're just really cute to just display on your desk. And you know, if you have a particular washi that you like to use a lot, then you know, it's easy to like pull it out, tear it off and apply. So I'm excited to use those and please excuse the air conditioner as it's about to turn on. It is very hot here in Memphis. Um, today, at Bel I don't know what the, the high was, but my car it was like 101. And then the humidity was just awful with the mugginess. Um, so we've got here some trading card holders. This is kind of funny that she sent me this because I do have one that I'm using for my ATC cards, but it's always good to have a backup just in case I fill it up. This one can hold 120 is what it says. So it always comes in handy. And then let's see what else do we have here. Ah, oh, that's for my, nie uh, my nephew Aiden, a little police car. We'll see if he likes that one. Um, I think yeah, he might come by tomorrow, I'm not sure. But he's, uh, he's four, so that's something he probably will like. Okay, so I think this is a little wallet it is it's so cute I like that it's flat and there's some stuff inside ah oh, she sent me some green tea um, Kit Kats how cute so I'm gonna keep those in there for now okay let's just put that here I'm trying to make sure everything stays in focus uh -huh. She sent this for my nephew. He is going to be so excited, Clarissa, for um, for my nephew PJ. He collects Pokemon cards, and he, uh, you know, I have some that I was able to find over at Treasure Hunt. This whole box right here, um, I was able to get it for five bucks, and um, I'm holding off and giving it to him because he really wants this. And I told him, you're not getting any cards until you get your first six weeks. Um, you know report card and you've got all A's and he's gonna just blow I mean he's just gonna go crazy because look at that they're all hollows 
and there's like a complete set of like all the different Charizards which he is dying to get in here um, but anyway so I have that and now she's given me more to give so now I have an additional to hold back on giving him until we get like the second six weeks it's his incentive to get good grades he was on honor roll last year so hopefully he can continue that so yeah this is wonderful oh he'll love this um, right now one of my sister's friends is visiting from Atlanta and her twin sons are totally into Pokemon so they brought their Pokemon cards and they were trading with him and um, yeah they were just having a blast you know talking about Pokemon looking at Pokemon and I gave him some Beyblade stuff that I was able to find for cheap so you know he was playing with that too so okay so there's washi in here but oh it's a little drawer okay I see you pull it open okay so let's look at this drawer. this is cute the store like I guess you could store washi in it right so you just pull it open like that and you can stack them was this from Daiso if it is that's that's really really cute and she sent me some washi tape from Daiso or rather duct tape but it's travel themed let me get it right and then focus so you can see always good in a travel insert so can't wait to use that we have another one here so let's pull this open and see what's inside properly I don't know or maybe I have it the other way I'm trying to figure out what's the proper way to stack because I can see that it would lock okay I guess it would lock like that Clarissa you're gonna have to tell me sorry if it's out of focus there um, trying to get everything in picture all right so she sent me this cute little hair accessory I have short short hair so I will see if one of my nieces um, will wear one of these. I'm pretty sure that one of them will. And then we have some zipper stickers, which is cute. So it's um, it's like washi, only that so you would apply it, like let's say to a letter, the envelope, and then when you want to open, you just peel back this part, the middle part right there. So like a zipper. So that's always cute to use. Especially on snail mail. Oh, we even, Clarissa, I didn't realize you were going to send this much Pokemon cards. Wow. Yeah. He's, you know, I might give some, one of them to PJ and one of them to his sister, Loie, because she is now into Pokemon. But she's very selective. She only wants just the cute ones. Go figure. Um, I think, was it, yeah, part of her birthday present was me giving her some um some pokemon well I, actually i think a pokemon envelope okay so we have here paper i think this is from shein let me see i have not even put my order from shein in yet it's been my cart's been sitting sitting there um for two months now i don't know i just haven't been motivated to like um, get it my, maybe because I have so much stuff right now and I'm just using it and I just yeah or I'm just buying other stuff that could be what it is too but not like junk journal related kind of things um, which I'll talk about in another video but yeah I need to I need to make that order <laughs> before some of that stuff actually goes out of stock because um, there's a couple things in that order that I need to get for my giveaway which also I will talk about later on in another video okay so we have here it's like a it says mr. paper return to the ancients project room it's like on a um, this is like on um, god I can think of the name of the film it's like slide film positive film because of this this uh, that's what it reminds me of um, for those millennials or who don't know um about film so slide film is positive film so because it's already 
Oh crap. Like, I'm trying to get it open here without tearing it. So like regular film is negative film. It's also, I think, based off of the process from what I can remember because when you print, or rather when you develop negative film, it's a C41 process. Uh, slide film is completely different. I remember back in the day when I used to shoot slide film, I had to send it off. You couldn't just, well, you could, but if only if they had the, um, the stuff, or not the stuff, the equipment to be able to develop the slide, yeah, the slide film. But anyways, I'm getting off track here. Okay, so these are like, okay, so these are like the aesthetic cards. Uh, like almost like collage cards. I've seen them and I actually have a couple of packs which I will show in another video. But I love this because it does look like, you know, regular slide film from back in the day. And in the way that they, you know, used to take the picture back then. You know, it's funny. One thing I can't stand are Lomo cameras. And I understand, okay, yes, the flare that people, that the cameras produce, a lot of people like that, but back in the day, we did not want flare to show up in our picture, so I could never understand the, um, the appeal of that type of photography and then those type of cameras. So, fortunately, none of this is displaying, displaying any flare. So, these are cute. I like that because you can, like, put this up on the wall make a collage or you can just like um, frame it, you know. I'm going to probably put one or two on my bulletin board in front of my desk. Maybe one at work. We're moving um, into another section of the building which is actually has windows. I've been working in a windowless room for the last, let's see, since actually for the last year and now we're moving into a room that has windows and has actual vents that are blowing air into the room because the room that we've been sitting in is where all the air is being sucked out of to blow into the other parts of the building so we'll be freezing our ass off in this room but I'm happy with that because I like it cold anyways but anyways like yeah so it's a much bigger space I'll have more room to like you know decorate if I want to like my desk area all right so the last thing that she included here are what are these? Are these books? Yeah, they are. I would, s okay. So I'm, I guess Clarissa had sent this for me to give to one of my nieces or nephews. Uh, I will give it to all three because they'll still read this regardless. But that's cute though. Binky the space cat. I've never heard of this character, but that's still cute. So yeah. I will give that to them. I'm just going to put it over here. All right. So this is the haul that, or rather this, the yes, happy mailbox that Clarissa sent me. Um, I usually, when she ever, she sends me stuff, I, you know, she asked me what, what I want. I'm easy. I just want stuff from Daiso because I don't have a Daiso here in Memphis. And so until um, we get one, hey, I'm happy with this. You know, I'm not, you know, it's, it's doesn't cost a lot of money. So and they've always got cute stuff. It always fits with my aesthetic. So anyways, yes, this is all that I got. And just to give you a sneak preview um, of an upcoming video, I am going to be um, sh talking about some of the things that I'll be giving away in a future, well, yes, in the future video. So what we have here, let's put it right here. I have uh, some thermal printers, which Surprisingly enough, I was able to get really cheap. So I may be giving one of these away. Um, I'm going to be calling the giveaway the road to a thousand subscribers. <laughs> so I may have to do this in increments where I may start with um, 500 subscribers. I will give away one printer or better, better yet, I will be giving away some things, some items that, um, you know, I'm pretty sure that people that watch this channel would be interested in because um, if you're watching this channel you have similar interests like me I'm trying to get one of the prizes and so one of the prizes would be this okay beautiful box what do you think it is I'm just gonna give you a little peek okay and let's see here it is a, a planner set okay so this is going to be 
in the 500 subscriber giveaway. Um, it's just one of the items. I will include some other stuff. Um, but like I said, the thermal printers will be like the top prize that will be in the 1,000 subscribers. And I'll probably have one at 750 subscribers. So we'll see. I'm still trying to flesh it out. I'm already slowly collecting all of the stuff that I want to give away. But just, you know, keep watching and you'll get more details. All right. So I hope you guys are having a safe, happy and safe 4th of July. Um, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.